I'm back again, gun strap packing in More metal force and lyrics from this young man A May Young Ring is the ball, spitting lyrics once again We're vending approved information now Episode 45, we in the building The legend Malfred is back with me on this extraordinary podcast So, on this podcast episode we're going to talk about the two demons, uh, Gail King and Oprah. Um, we're going to talk about hair as far as discrimination our people had to deal with, with hair. And we're also going to talk about a little bit of politics as well as breaking down the branches of government and the powers that they control. A lot of people don't really know um, the three branches of government or really how they operate and function. And that's not something that's um, too far-fetched nowadays because a lot of people just don't know. A lot of people only believe the president has all of the power and different things like that. A lot of people understand voting locally is a power in itself. So it's just different, you know, different things of that nature that um, will actually turn out to be something extraordinary and something positive as well as y'all see what's going on with the the, um, ignorant um, mother who cut all our daughter hair off because I guess the daughter father decided to get it done and um, they were no longer together so it's two different cases of discrimination that two people had are dealing with based on their appearance of their hair. So one of the cases is a popular case, and that's um, the king with the, um, they told him to cut his dreads off or he can graduate, and it's something similar. So, you know, right now we about to get into our comedy segment. We got the legend, Bernie Mac. Stay tuned. We're going to prove information now. Yo, I ain't gonna bullshit. I was nervous than a motherfucker. Boy, I looked at the house, I looked at the clock, looked at the house. Look at the clock. My buddy drove up. I was so glad to see that son bitch man know what to do. I said, man, what, what, what's up? Where you ready to go, man? Come on in for a few minutes. Have a few beers and shit before you go on it. I wanted some company like a motherfucker, you know what I mean? Man, I didn't want that mother. I want to go in that motherfucker's house by my goddamn self. See, black women something else. They don't be sleep. They be playing like they fucking sleep. They hear the car, they know your car don't slam, they know, they know that motherfucker. They know, they, that's him, they know, they know. When they hear that, she look at the clock and shit, you know, look at... Man, my stupid black ass came in that motherfucker house, I pushed that motherfucker door, I looked around, that motherfucker was sitting there in the chair looking at him. She said, Mac, didn't I tell you that don't, don't go nowhere last night? I said, look here. That's when you're nervous. When you say shit twice. I said, look here. Look here. Ain't no need you start no bullshit. I'm going to tell you how scared I was. This is a true story. I went out, man. I was so motherfucking nervous, boy. I was over my boy house. She kept calling. And my buddies kept teasing, Mac, your wife keep calling, man. Call her back. I said, man, I'm not calling her back, man. I told the motherfucker I'd be back at 12. <laughs> so you know when your boys get some shit on, they beat your balls all goddamn night, right? Man, you a pussy motherfucker. You a punk son, bitch. Big black motherfucker. You scared of my wife right there, day. I said, my wife don't run a motherfucking thing with her goddamn mouth. <laughs> Give me that goddamn phone. I got that fucking phone I dialed home. I was mad the summer, my bitch. I got the phone, I said, hello! Shut the fuck up and just pay attention. Don't say a motherfucking word. God damn, no worry about where the fuck I am. I'm out. And I'll be back when the fuck I get there. But I need one thing, when I get there, God damn, I better have something to eat. And it better be good, and it better be hot. Or I'm gonna kick your ass like an extra point. You think I'm bullshit? Let me speak to your mama. Food, baby. 
So we laugh and joke, man. See, now, we, like I said, I'm getting older now. I ain't, I ain't into that bullshit no more now. I'm into love. I'm into what people can give you and all that kind of stuff. I ain't talking about money and superficial things. I saw a friend of mine, man, yet last night. I used to date her a long time ago. Man, she good people. When I first met her, man, I'm talking about 1981, man. You know, she wasn't the most attractive person in the world. She was good people. You know, she had a patch on her eye, you know what I mean? No, but she was good people. She was good people, you know? And if I really liked her. I took her to dinner, man. She had a glass eye, you know? And I never touched, we never had sex, but this night we was gonna have sex this night, you know? I took her to dinner, man. She had the soup, I had the salad. I never will forget, man. She, she was eating the soup, and the soup was real hot. And she put the patch on her eye to give her eye some air. And the steam of the soup was getting in her eye, you know what I mean? So her eye accidentally fell in the soup. No, this is true shit. This is, she was good people. She was good people, you know? So she accidentally ate the motherfucking eye. I didn't know it. I didn't know it. So that night we got a hotel and everything. Man, we were laying in the bed, was kissing. This is my first time getting ready to do something to her. She was special. She was good people. And I was sucking on her neck, you know, kissing on her breast you know. And I was working myself down towards her stomach. You know, she got a little nervous. She said, no, Mac, I don't want to do it. And I said, baby, it's going to be all right. Just lay down, relax. I'm going to be cool with you. Just relax. So I had to start all over because she fucked up my momentum, you know. So I'm sucking on her neck again, kissing on her breast as I'm working myself back down towards her secret, you know. She jumped up again. No, Mac, I don't feel like it. I said, look here, Heffel. You fuck it up now. I'm, I'm tired of this shit. going to lay your fuck ass down. So I had to start all fucking over again, you know. So I got the neck, the breasts again, got down to the bird. All that jumping back and forth made her eye roam down. So when I got to her secret, her eye was looking dead at me. I said, like, this motherfucker don't trust no goddamn back. She was going to be in the WNBA. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of a sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman, as a WNBA player? It's not complicated for me at all. Even if there's a few times that we've been at a club at the same time, Kobe's not the kind of guy, never been like, you know, Lisa, go get that girl or tell her or send her this. I have other NBA friends that are like that. Mm -hmm. Kobe's, he, he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be, do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. I, that's just not the person that I know. But Lisa, you wouldn't see it though. As his friend, you wouldn't see it. And that's possible. Mm -hmm. I, I just, it's just, I just don't, I just don't believe that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying things didn't yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. I just don't believe that things didn't happen with force. Is it even a fair question to talk about it considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved? Or is it really part of his history? I think that the media should be more respectful um, at this time. It, it's like if you had questions about it, you've had many years to ask him that. I don't think it's something that we should keep hanging over his legacy. I mean, he went to it went to trial. Yeah, with the cases, it was dismissed because the victim in the case refused to testify. So it was dismissed. And I think that that's how we should leave it. I've been up reading the comments about the interview I did with Lisa Leslie about Kobe Bryant. And I know that if I had only seen the clip that you saw, I'd be extremely angry with me too. I am mortified, I'm embarrassed, and I am very angry. Uh, unbeknownst to me, my network put up a clip from a very wide ranging interview, um, totally taken out of context. And when you see it that way, it's very jarring. It's jarring to me. I didn't even know anything about it. I started getting calls. What the hell are you doing? Why did you say this? What is happening? I did not know what people are talking about. So I've been told, or I've been advised, to say nothing, just let it go. People will drag you, people will troll you, it'll be over in a couple of days. But that's not good enough for me because I really want people to understand what happened here and, and how I'm feeling about it. I reached out to Lisa because I know that she's a longtime friend of Kobe's to talk about his legacy and their friendship. 
we had a really wide-ranging interview. Talked about many things. His career, his passion, his sense of humor, the way he was mentoring other people, how he was starting his next chapter. It was wide-ranging. And yes, we talked about that court case because that court case has also come up. And I wanted to get Lisa's take on it as a friend who knew him well, what she thought, where that should stand. And I thought she... It was very powerful when she looked me in the eye as a member of the media to say it's time for the media to leave it alone and to back off. During the course of the interview, I asked follow-up questions because I wanted to make sure that her position and perspective were very clear. And at the end when she said it's time for to leave it alone, I, as I said, I thought that was powerful. And I insisted, I insisted that that part be in the interview because I thought that it put a nice button on that part of the conversation. Um, when the interview aired, we got a great reaction to it. Um, I talked to Lisa last night. I believe that Lisa was okay with the interview. And I felt really good about the interview, really good about the interview. So for the network to take the most uh, salacious part when taken out of context and put it up online for people who didn't see the whole interview is very upsetting to me and that's something I'm going to have to deal with with them uh, and we will there will be a very uh, intense discussion about that I also want to say this I have um, been with Kobe Bryant on many social occasions uh, he was very kind and very warm to me, and I felt that we had a friendly relationship. I, too, am mourning his loss, just like everybody else. I still am shocked by it. It's tragic and untimely, and the last thing I would want to do is disparage him at this particular time. And I, I, I hope people understand that. And that's why I'm taking this time to speak to you directly. I've never done one of these before. I didn't even... I, I've never done one of these before, but this was so important to me that I felt I had to say something. I don't want to sit up on a set and read a prepared remark. Uh, I wanted you to hear exactly where I'm coming from and how I'm feeling. And to let everybody know that no disrespect. Speaking of holding hearts, oh. and we did a show yesterday, Oprah, on best friends and how meaningful they are to us. And oh. I, I think the last 24 hours for your best friend have been pretty difficult after that interview oh. with Lisa Leslie about Kobe. And I just wondered just how she's doing. She and is not doing well. May I say she is not? She is not doing well because she has now death threats and has to now travel with security. And um, she's feeling very much attacked. You know, Bill Cosby is, is texting from, is, is, is tweeting. tweeting from jail. Uh, and uh, she's, not, she's not doing well and feels that um, she was put in a really terrible position because that interview had already ran. Mm -hmm. It was over. And in the context of the interview, everyone seemed fine, including Lisa Leslie. Mm -hmm. And it was only because somebody at the network uh, put up that clip mm -hmm. and that, and, and I can see how people would obviously be very upset mm -hmm. if you thought that Gail was just trying to press to get, uh, you know, an answer from Lisa Leslie. But um, she, 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 obviously all things pass. She will be okay. But um, she what hasn't slept in two days. Really? What do you think about all that criticism? I think the vitriol is, I think mm -hmm. anybody can criticize anything, but the misogynist vitriol and the attacking to the point where it is dangerous to be in the streets alone, because it's not just the people who are attacking, it's the other people who take that message and feel yeah. like they can do whatever they want to because of it, you know? You, you have built this community. That's what you're doing with this tour. That's what you do with your friends. We have best friends. We were talking mm -hmm. about this last night, that if one of our friends was going through this. It's you. It's There's personal. no difference between you and What do you do? Um, you support them, and you know, I was on the phone with her this morning, I was on the phone with her last night, I was on the phone with her the night be before. I think you you stand in the gap, you try to be there for your friends, but uh, it's this is very hard because when you have social media mm -hmm. and the force of social media, and particularly people who didn't see either interview mm -hmm. um, making attacks, 
And I think everybody has the right to have their opinion, mm-hmm. but to do it with such vitriol hate. is hate and meanness. Yeah. All right, man. We've been in the information that we back. Um, basically, a lot of people already trashed Gail King and um, Oprah Winfrey. A round of applause to um, 50 Cent, Curtis Jackson. Not only for what he's doing with the series on ABC with the, um, the brother who's incarcerated and he's basically he basically is his own lawyer in the system that is um injustice and stuff like that you have to check it out i can't think of the name right now but also another good movie is just mercy and it has a little bit of um, similarities in it and that's also something that's powerful but something that 50 cent did was he attacked what is considered a, a high archy in our community oprah winfrey and Gail King just happened to do something later on with disrespect Kobe, which everybody already know you by now. Dummy. And these two, I we I've been calling out Oprah. I haven't really paid that much attention to Gail King because of the whole R. Kelly thing. Is um, in my opinion, it's just clear evidence. He faked that Liz, um, the wedding and the whole thing like that and I know a lot of people got whatever their opinions on it I personally don't have an opinion on it other than um, the Leah situation if you fake your own death and all that other stuff whatever um, yeah man that's just my opinion on it you can't really deny that uh, and, I, and I, I still think Bill Cosby is innocent and I can bring Bill Cosby up in this because Bill Cosby from his jail cell said Congratulations to Snoop Dogg for calling out Gail King on what she's doing. And this is funny that Snoop um, came back and was like, yo, he apologized. Now, situations like this, no matter if he said he got to do it to be a bigger person or not, the whole point of 50 Cent coming out saying that they phony was because he had to expose them. Maybe he felt like calling a black woman um, a bitch was an issue, and I can understand that from a little perspective. But the apology, I feel like, then if we have niggas who can fold under certain pressures, I feel like they should never speak for their community. You feel what I'm saying? On certain things. That don't take away nothing as far as his respect and level or whatever. As is, you can't double back on the situation. You just want them to be as mad as you are. No, not just you, but a lot of people. And I want niggas. I want. I want us to have a consistent base in our community of niggas that can speak for us and not say, "Oh, I apologize." You feel what I'm saying? However you feel about any political party, sexuality, religion, um, anybody that shows any type of disrespect. Just stand on it You don't have to backtrack What she did was a bitch move You shouldn't have to feel no way morally or nothing And I don't know if it's because He's getting He got threat from um, What's, what's that um, That um, whole name Who defended Gail King She used to work with Obama um, And she, she basically threatened Snoop Like yo You better um, da, 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 Apologize and this and that you feel what I'm saying? Or we're going to come at you with an army. But other than that... Yeah, I'm on the other side of this. I don't think that had anything to do with his apology. I think his, I don't think his stance on what he did, I don't think that changed. I think he's still mad about that. But I think he just realized the way he went about doing that publicly is not what's right for him. And I can give him that respect. Maybe it's because I'm um, I'm 24 and I'm looking at it from a more radical standpoint. Meaning, it's just straight revolution. There's no way around it. If you have an expression, that's your expression. A lot of shit that's going on with um, my Mexican brothers in these fucking caves and all type of shit. I can never be like, oh, I'm sorry for saying this and that. It is what it is. And um, we're not going to spend too much crazy time on it. It's just finally Oprah Winfrey is getting what she deserves and she's in fake tears. Y'all have to remember, she's an actor. So all of this shit is, is phony. Niggas is calling you out. And I hate the fact that um, niggas is trying to flip it on other people like, okay, 
since they didn't do documentary, how come y'all don't want to do documentary? That don't make sense. We asked them to do it because they're the one that's doing documentaries on niggas. It's like that Michael Jackson documentary. Shout out to Macaulay Culkin for consistently denying the act, um, the alleg, whatever, what's his joint allegations, <laughs> whatever, um, being accused of Mike doing something to him as well as defending him to his grave. And I can't wait until Bill Cosby have his day of justice. And I'm publicly going to keep saying free Bill Cosby because the whole shit is bullshit. And yeah, you got anything you want to say about Gil King? I don't feel that strongly about Gil King as other people do, but I will say, fuck Oprah. I really don't care about Oprah. As far as the Bill Cosby thing, uh, if he admitted it, I just can't look past that. I mean, I just literally can't. Like, if he to this day was like, no, I did not do this, maybe I could be like, all right. He maybe admitted, there's something to it He admitted to giving him The Quaaludes He didn't admit to raping him the I Qua- haven't looked into that myself Quaaludes was a drug That they took recreationally And it's been a proven fact They asked her Why did you take the Quaaludes? But, but you're saying her? That's one person Yeah because Alright you feel what I'm saying? I wasn't it like 20 of them? Yes, yeah, what I'm saying. We all, this, here's what's confusing about our people and this people in general. We know for a fact that America targets strong black people and this people, period. And this is a fact that niggas targeted Bill Cosby. The simplicity of the questions asked was, why did y'all take the pills? Y'all knew he was a married man. Why y'all going to the hotel? Why are y'all taking these pills? Y'all grown ass woman. So you are, y'all, y'all can't think for yourself? They said, I don't know. And she's just, and I'm using her because she's the spokesperson. They could come up with 12 billion bodies, and we already know evidence is fake. And also, real quick, Salisbury, Maryland, this has been an investigation of police tampering with evidence. So, and they, they're going to look back from a 24 year period of anybody that's been affected by evidence tampering in Salisbury, Maryland Police Department. But, um, Real quick before we go into the music break The Bill Cosby situation is, And my point is clear Fuck Gail King Hope she die Drink bleach bitch you And it's over dummy. My stance been the same The same shit Snoop can apologize and say it But I'm not apologizing I really hate y'all bitches Anybody that go against black women You feel me The 12 you The 12 dummy. children Tribes of um, Israel You will get destroyed Point blank period Don't fuck with us I don't care who you is Black or brown Worldwide, all around, you feel what I'm saying? This is how we putting that shit down, period. So you back to the point, dummy. um, and we may touch on this more on the open topic. They had no reason of taking the pills, and the twelve, the rest of them bodies, them bitches was just to make sure he he was locked up. That's just my opinion. So you I'm don't you don't think at least one of them? No, one I of don't. the twenty, none no. of them. Nope, they knew what they was doing, bro. They grown ass women. They knew he was cheating, and they knew they was cheating with him. Let's get into some music. Revealing and prove information. Now. My sweet sixteen, better than a colleague in her prom. It's time to bring that pain, baby. Like a mother who gave birth for the first time. At 22, a young king and queen holding out in her arms. Life cold, she wasn't like it's more sweet. Like serving up every queen. She can't afford a house, so she spent them late nights in hotel rooms. Since the house where they learn how to sleep comfortable on the floor. And this house keeping every day, knocking on the door. But this is this life in me. I never realized that I was poor Poor me, I got older Looking out for them everywhere I tell y'all, nothing but straight lyrics When I spit balls, we gon' pick it up And I don't care at all Love for love and I shoot slugs for y'all huh? No more running the house Kill everything that moves Even if fly you a mouse Fuck rags and bitches I'm just supposed to be alive Not homeless anymore Sleeping on benches And learning some way and bus routes Just to get some rest before they kick me out Man, did you fucking understand? We was high rolling, no dice shit We was on some nice shit I can't tell you due to the lack of knowledge of cars But it's better than them green vans And them broken down rent cars I tell you that this is really hard uh, A beautiful house, such a beautiful home A man chilling and blessing upon the trees of Rome Oxygen filled lungs I wish it was oxygen throughout the homes Blood turned water, spin a pipe through the homes Ghetto soldier rumbling, he 
Body beats and stumps on the head Now there's a print from Miss Timberland White powder with nothing then The young boy from Maryland The truth in that matter That white powder was hunting him Now baby boy J, y'all head filled with confusion Niggas fool taking our place And stumpy mumbling One night stand to another man Home from the eagle other man Young judge, J, y'all baby boy Home alone, show no love Everybody out there that's when they get a buzz To create it all, trying to make it Party out and getting stoned and very naked Lost in the world full of niggas with broken bones We've been eliminated, track bones Hella niggas text on the phone But she can't, she got a curve on Chris She had a long day at work She just pull a Mary J and stay stoned You know But do you know how I feel to finally get back on your feet But you keep falling, got a limit of data Ain't good signal, but don't pick up the phone When the Lord's calling <laughs> Never mind, this is not to be played If you're fan of mumble rap Why I lay in court and that say the game When it was happily on his back But no need to fear, Alpha Libra You said to help bring it back And it's long road Before you cross over the tracks I walk with junks and high as shit Cooling in the back and save your life Where I see in a lot of junk and suck dick for crack And big lighter And some Pepsi soda pop Lord, that is something to see On a Sunday, getting blazed up until Monday And on the other side I be at that hoes flipping pussy For hair tracks, niggas killing blacks And I stay mellow for young fellow Rapper, I call hip hop She said hello I asked her do she fuck with my rap She laughed and said hell no So it's only right for heaven's sake I send you motherfuckers to the heavenly stakes Of hell You pieces of shit and scrap my door Bars, 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 I send you to the penitentiary They hit you with a brand the pen and it's chinny chin chin all with that big plan why he was playing pokemon go this is mama rap niggas man i gotta catch them all like i'm in a box that flames of spray paint on the wall whatever doesn't fall i nuke these niggas if they make the final call lord knows it rain when he got these bars i dare these niggas try to step to me face to face i'll paint the scars snake ass motherfuckers return on y'all God damn, sometimes you even gotta watch a fan got Woo! <laughs> He's the godfather of the ghetto. He's black, brutal, and beautiful. All of my niggas sucks. The foxiest chicks All of my in niggas town are standing in line. Trap. All of my Mafia niggas. is running for cover. Trap. His name. All of my niggas Power sucks. is his game. Trap. All of, black black. all of my niggas, uh, all of my niggas, yeah. all of my niggas be trapping, all of my niggas be trapping, niggas be trapping. We got the dope in the matches, we got the dope in the matches, got in the matches. You know we got what you need, so why the fuck is you ask? Why the fuck is you ask? All of my niggas be trapping, all of my niggas be trapping, all of my niggas be trapping. You know my youngest play blasting, you know my youngest play blasting, putting these niggas in plastic, niggas in plastic. All of my niggas be trapping, all of my niggas be trapping, all of my niggas be trapping, all of my niggas be trapping. All of my niggas be trapping. We put the dope in the sock. Huh? You know we pressure the dope. Tell the shit turn to a rock. Yeah. Got the strap in my waist. Man, it look like a cop. Man, it look like a dick. Run up on me, nigga. Fuck around and get shot. Blah, blah. Got a gun on my hip. Got a gun on my waist. Huh? Run up on me, nigga. Shoot you right in your face. Right in your face. Fucking with my niggas. Gonna spray them like mace. Spray them like mace. You know the dope good. Be thinking this lace. Thinking this lace. All of my niggas be trapping. Some of my niggas be rapping. Niggas be rapping. All of my niggas be trapping. None of my niggas be capping. Niggas be capping. All of my niggas be real. Man, it ain't no act then. All of my niggas in the field. All of my niggas be dragging. Facts. All of my niggas be trapping. All of my niggas be trapping. Be trapping. We got the dope in the matches. We got the dope in the matches. You know we got what you need. So why the fuck did you ask? All of my niggas be trapping. All of my niggas be trapping. All of my niggas be trapping. You know my youngest play best. You know my youngest they blasting, putting these niggas in plastic, niggas in plastic. All of my niggas be trapping, all of my niggas be trapping. All of my niggas be trapping, all of my niggas be trapping. Well, another day, another crowd. You fuck with my mouth and KLM and I'ma let you down. Everything I speak on the track is so profound. D Max gave me the propane, I'm over the hill now. Word the hang and pay now. Boo, how you talk a lot of 
Desperate to tell we hunt you down. A Mac got clip in the air for anybody to stab me. A D Max in the back. You should've never bought a knife to a gunfight. Now that's your life. You was a part of the ultimate sacrifice. Hide the vision. I wish I could see my grandma I'm again. That's one more time at night. I miss you. All of my niggas be trapping. All of my niggas be trapping. We got the dope in the matches. We got the dope in the matches. You know we got what you need. So how the fuck is you ask? the fuck is you ask? All of my niggas be trapping. All of my niggas be trapping. All of my niggas be trapping. You know my youngest play blasting. You know my youngest play blasting. Putting these niggas in plastic. Niggas in plastic. All of my niggas be trapping. 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 Power is his game. He's the black godfather. But it's someone out here always trying to be a hater I don't let it get to me, can't shit fade Take a bottle to the head to keep from going crazy Gotta stay high just to keep you off my mind Cause I think about you like all the time I never felt your pain until I lost you But now baby I'm so high I can't even think about you I can't I do these drugs to keep away the pain I do these drugs to keep away the pain I do these drugs to keep the way to pay. I swear to God, be some fuck shit on my brain. I do these drugs to keep the way to pay. I do these drugs to keep the way to pay. I do these drugs to keep the way to pay. I can't lie, be some fuck shit on my brain. I do these drugs to keep the way to pay. I do these drugs to keep the way to pay. Okay. Deja Banks says she felt unwelcome in the Baraboo School District since the first grade. I'm being told I couldn't play with people because of my hair or the color of my skin. I thought I thought there was something wrong with I thought there was something wrong with me. She said she was seven years old when the harassment started. Every time an issue occurred, I would go and tell um, a principal. I would, I would go to the office and ask to speak to a principal, and I would tell them what happened and they told me that they would handle it but it continued to happen so I, I felt as though they weren't doing anything. Banks said the problems continued for the next eight years. In a lawsuit filed in federal court Wednesday, she details how she was harassed and bullied for the color of her skin, was called the N-word on numerous occasions, was called a cotton picker at one point, and experienced numerous cases of being sexually harassed by other students. Well, one person would help stick up for me, but because of that, she also got... Um, Harassed. Banks said she hopes her lawsuit can open up the door for administration to push for more education on being culturally sensitive and that sexual harassment of any kind will be dealt with appropriately. It doesn't feel right. Like, 
I was born there and it, it kind of, it's heartbreaking not being able to go to what should be your home and not feel like home. You don't understand lots because ain't none of y'all black. On Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a district that touts its excellence found itself embroiled in controversy about race, discrimination, and dreadlocks. This is a black and white issue. The dress code is designed by white people for white people that is damaging to black bodies. Activists stood beside DeAndre Arnold and his family as they addressed the Barbers Hill ISD school board. DeAndre has been suspended and won't be able to walk at his graduation in three months unless he cuts his dreadlocks. DeAndre should not have to be, he should not have to go through this. This family should not have to go through this, but I expect it from a school board that has zero diversity. The district says this isn't about dreadlocks or race. There is no dress, policy, uh, dress code policy that prohibits uh, any cornrow or any other method of the wearing of the hair. Our policy limits uh, the length. Uh, it's been that way for 30 years. A handful of speakers agreed with the district and pleaded with them not to make an exception with the rules, but the majority didn't buy the district's explanation. We're here about DeAndre, but it's bigger than DeAndre. It's about all the other DeAndres that possibly can come through Barbara's Hill. DeAndre's family is hoping his hair doesn't derail a good student's future, and they vow to fight this until the end. They have 48 hours to come up with a resolution. If not, we're going to take this to federal court. All right, man, we're in an approved information now. It is a proven fact that our people, no matter if we wear our hair in an afro, some of our people have different textures of hair. Some of ours are naturally straight, naturally curly, with the straight. Three different layers for some people. Some people have the gorgeous round afro, um, and a lot of people either are intimidated by it or want to touch it. The situation with the discrimination of hair What's your opinion on I feel like racism is so ingrained in the, the psyche of American people that just the way that our hair grows out of our scalp offends people and it makes them act crazy. Like, it's insane that just living, just being black in America, having black features is somehow an indictment to some people, you know what I mean? Damn, that's a powerful word that you said, an indictment, when it comes time to our hair. Key points of powerful words, that is a fact. And I was thinking to myself, like, was it the Black Panthers who caused them to have this type of fear of our hair? But a lot of Black Panthers didn't wear locks, so, and braids. So it can't be I don't think it was them Right, 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 right I only bring it up You know, you know me I always think about Any possible way Of why the fuck These niggas hate niggas For no reason Because they did that For the same reason that People are being discriminated Against now For the exact same reason Race Right And I only had to say that this, um, You know I'm just mean. bringing it up Different, I mean Perspectives for people Just to have their mind Working and shit like that And I look up. A lot of African history gets all I be on. Shout out to the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, basically, a lot of they were braids back in the day and they had like secret. Even I learned it in um, the slave trade. You know, we, this is Maryland, a very heavy state with the slave trade. Um, legends like Frederick Douglass, Harry Tubman, and many more. They used to braid maps into their hair. And a whole bunch of different unique stuff in their hair. I don't know what it is. And then dreadlocks, especially in the community that we're a part of with the plants. And if you don't know what that is, then you're just fucking slow. Um, that community, a lot of people universally get dreadlocks. And we don't really consider it being, um, a, you know, cultural appropriation. And tell somebody is like disrespectful with it. But in this case, it's systems that's structured to the point where they don't want your children to have a certain appearance. And this situation with the boy, they were saying, oh, he can graduate. He just got to cut his hair shorter. Like, huh? They say he can keep his dreads, but he want, they, it only can be a certain length. And then the queen was like, I don't even feel comfortable in this school district. Um, and then, as you've seen, people 
she had a friend, and shout out to our non black and brown friends that fight racism every fucking day. And they put their back against the wall and they said, nigga, if you're racist, fuck you. Shout out to them. You feel what I'm saying? And those people will be called, I guess, the Bernie Sanders. Because he fought in the civil rights movement. And we're going to talk about the politics on the next segment. Yeah, man. For those who have us on the streaming, you will get to hear that full segment. For those who are listening to this on Facebook and YouTube, you only get to hear up to an hour of the show. Um, y'all need to be on that streaming. Um, and um, basically, I love afros, bro. What's your favorite style of hair for our people? Afros is just so sexy on, on women, bro. Maybe I'm biased, but definitely locks. Oh, locks as well. I love locks. And I don't know if it was because back in the day, the whole Soul Train and the Black Panthers, but a big ass afro well, um, hoot rings is, yeah, a sexy on a woman. Definitely. She just wear it with confidence. Yeah, man. And I like the afros that's mixed with being curly, straight, and nappy. A lot of people sleep on nappy hair. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Hair is his hair, bro. I don't never judge people off their uh, personal appearance. But... Back to it. This is where we need to get into learning about different laws that we can open up so none of this can happen. And you're like, damn, what the fuck? It's 2020. It's still happening. It happens on an everyday basis. And I don't really think it's going to stop until we say, yo, enough is enough. We eventually have kept opening up our own schools. And even the schools that we have, you seen the queen that was speaking out saying, this is supposed to be a safe Basically, a situation happened where she they made a safe space for all of the um, minorities on the campus. And then what ended up happening was all of the white kids decided they, they wanted to also go to the safe space on the college campus. So they overpopulated, which was supposed to be kind of a private place because they already had their own clubs. And they made private clubs and then they was like, fuck it. You're not going to discriminate against us. We're going to go to your club too. After they already had a club So all of this is happening In a lot of our schools we should, We've been needing to open up schools To teach our kids about taxes We need to have a self defense Of retired martial artists Who are still fresh They can teach our kids self defense Veterans that come from the military That can also teach another form of self defense And things like that Y'all already know my whole perspective And a whole blueprint that I want to happen um, The center that, that can shelve Homeless for a nice um, three to four years, as well as single mothers and fathers and veterans who got out of the military, um, chefs, gardeners, and people who can actually build. So my brothers and sisters that work in construction, we need all of your resources. And Memo, before we close out and get to the music, you got anything else you want to say on this? I want to say that all my black people, you are beautiful. And don't let the media, don't let social media, anybody, any of those clowns tell you that you're not beautiful. All of your African features, big noses, big lips, tightly curled hair, it's all beautiful. Facts. My 12, my 12 brothers and sisters of Israel, you're gorgeous, as well as everyone else. But your shit on the most in this fucked up world, and... If only they knew, but it's okay, because it's 2020, the year of information, and they cannot stop what is destined and already written in stone. The rise of the fallen is upon us. They stay on a positive path. Do not be a part of the corruption or you will fall. Gail King, you're not excluded, neither are you, Oprah. And there's no, oh, ooh, ooh, I apologize, no, it's none of that. You can apologize, but you will deal with the consequences that you have written for yourself first. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get into my brother Greedy. You used to tell me. You feel what I'm saying? Revealing to prove information. Now, we're going to be back on the politic tip. Just to chop it up with y'all and talk about the different branches of government. They used to tell me. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. They used to tell me, 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 yeah. They used to tell me, bro, you need to hit the block, yeah They used to tell me that I never reach the top, yeah They used to tell me I should give it all I got, yeah They used to tell me they was real, but really not, yeah They used to tell me that I need to hit the block, yeah They used to tell me that I never reach the top, yeah They used to tell me I should give it all I got, yeah They used to tell me they was real, but really not, yeah said, let me get spiritual, I'm the digital miracle All this money going around like it was spiracle, you niggas hysterical, you need to just let it go, or I'm chopping off your head the same way to let it grow, Lord told us to let it go, nothing really matters at funerals or masses, only time that we gather, other than when we battle, looking for beef like cattle, she ride me without a saddle, I'm drowning without a paddle, in a text cut a night of battle, and the night can get abandoned, how I hit your chick and all the bitches bragging, yeah we different cause you bitches, root paw when you dragging, bagging, they don't trust me, I'm a loose cannon, Bruce Banner I couldn't pick a flaw with two cameras Brought new hammers for loose banter You questioned and the truth answered Bars deadly as a new cancer A spooky rapper's like a new dancer They used to tell me, boy, you need to hit the block, yeah They used to tell me that I never reach the top, yeah They used to tell me I should give it all I got, yeah They used to tell me they was real, but really not, yeah They used to tell me that I need to hit the block, yeah They used to tell me that I never reach the top, yeah They used to tell me I should give it all I got, yeah They used to tell me they was real but really not, yeah I'm a star child, lyrics are art style All I do is beat the track up, martial art style Who art thou? Feeling like I'm Shakespeare Sitting in these dark clouds, but my vision stay clear I take fear and turn it to my gasoline They feel the dry, doubt if they ever pass it me Pass the weed, your boy blows ass the trees I'm feeling the love, I always pass the king you you can keep the torch, just pass the rings Balls heavy in my death, even the casket leans Rich and famous is the classic dream But when your squad missing shots, what could you ask the team? I just tell them pass to me, I splash the three I done wrote more scriptures than a pastor reads Nicknamed her dastardly, a catastrophe With a mastery of acting bastardly To the point that my mama don't ask for me Get serious you used to laugh at me Why are mostly whack rappers chasing after me? Who the best? I'ma check like they cashing me Don't hate, just watch the time And I get lost in rhyming Fuck with me and get popped like you lost your homie Dark days are the cost for shining I spilled the tea and raised the cost in China An architect called me Barty Moore's lost designer How much for your soul? Guess it cost designer I felt like Malcolm when he lost Elijah I'm the truth, you a falsifier The result to get dire, the scene turned into a forest fire. I get more inspired, the soaring to the orbit higher till I'm worn and tired or aspire. I'm just high as hell, looking out for them pig motherfuckers. No STD whenever I say we burn rubber. And for the record, if I go inside a raw, I'm a keeper. This word to my brother. Why all the hate? We can learn from each other. High as hell, smoking spliff, looking out for the pig motherfuckers. We on the run, so it's time to burn rubber. Time to burn rubber. Back to bad shots, feeling like I'm in the playoffs. No, I'm not a drunk, I just drink and take the pain off. I much rather smoke slip and then I race off. Hitting studios up all night, you know we letting K's off. And other news, Kendra's still a bad bitch. She is far from average, we are really savage. King load up on that clip and shoot it like a basket. Funerals and caskets, no need to fed. I'm just thinking what can happen. Cause we know that life really is tragic Free all my niggas in jail that was booked for drug trafficking You just tryna feed your family and make ends You know, we just tryna feed our folks They laugh when we dirty and even dangerous and rude But yeah, them niggas make jokes They hate the fact when we on top Cause I gotta let my gold roller show Are you upset cause remind you of a time When my people go on top of the world? Never mind, that's some other shit For them guys that recline Sit back and look at life like damn One more time for my niggas in the back Smoke his lips, get his stats You know, we gotta feel high Every time we back AK-47, then I get to shoot it when I rap I appreciate every single thing that I had Never take it for granted, I ain't talking about hell I'm so broke that that shit give me the chills I'm an asshole, so this, that shit he fail Shout out to my brother, just that Say that I love you, I'm shooting slugs for real Little Wayne, stay straight
track Biggie, who shot you feel? And I gotta rob a nigga Cause being broke give me the chills This stack, goddamn, these boys need a deal And for the record High as hell smoking on that shit Nigga not for the big motherfuckers No STD Whenever I say that I burn rubber And for the record if I go raw, I'm a keeper, that's words to my brother Why all the hate, let's learn from each other High as hell, smoke a spliff, the bigs are after me So it's time to burn rubber, burn, burn rubber, time to burn rubber I know black folks so poor, they there about to go nuts They'll kill your ass off a half bitten bagels and donuts And they drive crazy, they swerving in donuts This is from the people that tell me they grow up I see what life's about, nigga, I don't want it You can keep living life and never have regrets, eh This is for my kids, never lose your youthfulness Always stay positive, even when the niggas wanna speak negative Uh, forgive me for my friends But y'all, we read, would you like to suck the tip? Maybe so, I know that I'm going berserk This is for them people that wanna work hard and never flirt They don't got time for that They be trying to make their money stack Grind after grind, nobody is stopping, that's a fact If you step in my path, you will get washed down The rain washes sins away, get drenched now I'm praying that I never lose my focus Whatever. That fiend told me I'm the dopest Whatever. And if you wanna kill a boy I shoot from far away, nigga, I get the scope in You man? Yeah, nigga I chose, I got a car, then stick with a fucking stone. This right here coming from deep, yeah, I'm talking so. Trying to stay exit now, yeah, my fucking goals. My stressing about this life, I'm trying to live. I'm trying to get it, yeah, I'm trying to get rich, yeah. I've been sleeping at my granny's crib, yeah. I know it ain't living right, now. Gotta get the bag, gotta get the bag, yeah. I gotta get the bag, gotta get the bag, yeah. Pain packed down inside, can't even go out. People looking at me like I ain't alive Tell me why, cause you tell me why I be fly, I be shy, I don't even know why Yeah, I still can't lie, I cry on the inside Still I die, far gone from here Oh, I miss you, my dear, please don't cry Please don't tear, I had a man up, yeah And just face my fears, God be testing me But I'm staying strong through it all Had to teach myself how to ball No father figure through it all, yeah. Will I buy my mama crib? Will I buy my dad a car? Will I make it to be big? Will I make it to be far? Will I have a wife and kids? Will they call it that a star? Man, I'm tired of all this shit. I've been popping on this bar. And tell my PO I say fuck. Man, I wish I beat that case. And tell my mama that I'm sorry. Disappointment on her face. And if these crackers give me time, I'ma have to do the race. I've been pushing all these pounds. I've been pushing all these weights. So that hold to suck me up. And then she kiss you on your face. Since I'm young and my soul been really missing. Popping all these pills, my heart been reminiscing yeah. It's a hole up in my heart, brother, why? It's steady what? dripping, getting smarter by the hour That's why I'm steady tripping <laughs> Smarter by the hour, steady trippin', gotta get it Mama got these bills to stackin', but I gotta go in case she got the money Then I'm running at the drill, that's not an easy to find But I gotta hustle, gotta learn how to get it Mama told me I was good, but I never fucking listen Mama, I apologize for the shame that I'm doing, But I'm doing it for you, so you can go ahead and leave it in peace Mama probably, baby watching me in the sky when it be when it be making money in the street, wearing dope, power church and junkie before I was born. So then, right, I got the heroin flowing in my system. Mama, okay, go insane. Brain losing all this focus, all this weed that I'm blowing. Mama, sorry, but I'm gone. So I'm gone. So I'm gone. They should play like Houdini. You're a man, get trick. I'm gone. They should be in the sky. Gonna fly. No, I'm gone. I don't really trust no one. So I flat on my wings. Take off in the sky like that. Pretty black, turtle dove, all white, all fresh, no dub, all the love I oh, only trust my day work, but I keep a black recruit I don't really fuck with hoes, bet they top me off the most I got good taste with the moolie, get the dough and fall in low Can't fall off with no hoes, I fell off, I need more fucking dough My pockets can't be on E D-Mark got the heat this is the life I chose I got a car, then stick with a fucking stone This right here coming from deep Yeah, I'm talking soul Try
mind stay acting out, yeah, my fucking goal. Yeah, Jero, I gotta get it. I gotta help my mom out with the bill. This life I chose is really real. It's all very way I be at. It really ill. And every day I gotta tell my still. Niggas now gonna have my head looking in the street. Niggas so crazy how these niggas snitching on the man. Y'all know each other since y'all little man. That's not the first thing I know when I hop in the street. And that's all why I gotta stay strong, stay ten toes down for my family. This is the life I chose. I got a car, then stick with the fucking stone. Be more good right here, coming from deep. Yeah, I'm talking soul. Trying to stay exit now, yeah, my fucking goal. Pain packed down inside, can't even go outside. People looking at me like I ain't alive. Tell me why, could you tell me why? I be fly, I be shy, I don't even know why. Yeah, I still can't lie, I cry on the inside, still I. take this opportunity to thank the people of New Hampshire for a great victory tonight. I admired Senator Sanders when I was a high school student. I respect him greatly to this day, and I congratulate him on his strong showing tonight. Victories behind us, popular vote in Iowa, and the victory here tonight. We're going to Nevada. We're going to South Carolina. We're going to win those states as well. So many of you decided that a middle-class mayor and a veteran from the industrial Midwest was the right choice to take on this president, not in spite of that experience, but because of it. Right now it is clear that Senator Sanders and Mayor Buttigieg had strong nights. We just heard from the first two of 50 states. Two of them. Not all the nation, not half the nation, not a quarter of the nation, not 10 percent, two. Two. Now where I come from, that's the opening bell. My heart is full tonight. While there are still ballots left to count, we have beaten the odds every step of the way. You know, I am the math guy, and it is clear tonight from the numbers that we are not going to win this race. I am not someone who wants to accept donations and support in a race that we will not win. And so tonight, I am announcing I am suspending my campaign for president. I wish all those candidates well that are going beyond uh, uh, New Hampshire. I think it's fitting for us to end the campaign tonight. In this election season, we have been told by some that you must either be for a revolution or you are for the status quo. But where does that leave the rest of us? Most Americans don't see where they fit in that polarized vision. And we can't defeat the most divisive president in modern American history by tearing down anybody who doesn't agree with us 100% of the time. The reason that we are going to win is that we are putting together an unprecedented, multi-generational, multi-racial political movement. And this is a movement from coast to coast which is demanding that we finally have an economy and a government that works for all of us, not wealthy campaign contributors. Here all these pundits and experts, uh, cable TV talkers, talked about the race. Uh, tell them, it ain't over, man. We're just getting started. The fight we're in, the fight to save our democracy, is an uphill battle, but our campaign is built for the long haul. I'm Amy Klobuchar, and I will beat Donald Trump. One day, books will tell not just of one election, but of the era that began with you here in New Hampshire. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Let's go out and win this thing. Thank you. It's on to Nevada, it's on to South Carolina, it's on to win the Democratic nomination, and together. And together, I have no doubt that we will defeat Donald Trump. Thank you all very much. 
All right, by this point, if you're not streaming this, then you probably are not hearing this or they just cut you off. And shout out to the people who are still here. That means you fuck with this on a heavy, 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 super heavy. Um, the three branches, first of all, I want to give my shout out. Shout out to Kalencia, shout out to Garnet, shout out to my man Emilio. Shout out to the boy AK. Shout out to my little bro Dante. Shout out to the bro Nimante. Shout out.